Hello guys, my name is Sans Fiesta. In this video, I would like to show you how to play Anubis on Facebook. So, I'm sorry for kind of delay on YouTube, but uh, I was on two weeks vacation in Croatia. Uh, I really enjoy it, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of want to grind again. Uh, and to be honest, I think that Anubis is my favorite map on Facebook, definitely. Because on these there is so much things you can do. And I would recommend, in like concept, I would recommend to just like start everyone else. So you start B main, you start mid, you start con, you start A main, whatever. But mainly focus on B main and mid, which is the most impactful. And do all the times and play. If you don't have spawn, obviously you can just play like defaultish. But it's, this map is so good for plays. So if you have a lot of plays in playbook, you're going to play really good on T side. You're going to enjoy the map more. And remember, it's this side map, so don't be afraid, have a confidence and just kill them, right? Uh, because they should be scared of you. Uh, they are kind of like, uh, should be more like a passive on me, right? Or passive on me and stuff. Uh, okay, so let's start with, for example, B. I, what I like to do is all the time just run in and just take the fight. It's so simple, but it's so good. Uh, if you have a confidence to do it, it's it just... The best option what you can do if they smoke you which they will uh, after some pressure or early even you can break it and try to again find some duel and just kill him i think this is really insane because uh people uh people on ct they they kind of like a one attack with you fight but they have m4 right so they need to double ding you and you have ak and you know you you know where they could be right so it depends only on your cross replacement and basically on your confidence as well so uh, but it's pretty easy to kill them um but obviously i have some place that i can show you so first play that i really like is when you basically what i saw from one face player as well it was actually insane i copied it to my playbook is that you smoke lurk like this and you want a pizza so it looks like this and you be edging so if you're in middle of the smoke and molly you are not burning so you're basically going from the Lurk Smoke to middle of this and you're holding backside and temple and you kinda get an easy kill, right? Nobody will expect this. Nobody. This is just so free kill all the time and every every game I'm just getting free kill out of it. So use this. Uh, spam this. And other thing is that I need one teammate to flash me but what I do is that I smoke left side and I also smoke Lurk. And now I get like two flashes. It looks like this, like a wall. Everyone is blind and I'm running to the CT and I'm going flank, right? It's pretty insane. <laughs> On face it, people are full shape most of the times. Uh, sometimes can happen that someone will hold the CT smoke because they are they already know what that means. It's kind of obvious to them, but uh, on face, it, most of the times people are full shock in that and they're getting full blind as well, so they can see, you know, so that's really good. Uh, so yeah, on B-Man that's pretty much it. Let's move on to mid. I think on mid, for example, what is really good is because CTs are smoking insta bridge all the time, right? So you want to spam like utils on mid. It's good if your teammate knows like door molly, for example, or window molly. You can you can throw like this. Oh, I cannot. I failed that one. Oops. But you're going on the bench and you jump spot. If you don't see anyone, what you can do is you can go to this window right here. And you, it called Tapsen, and you're going like this, and you are not seen from enemies. And it's kind of really good because they're not expecting you. You can sound cue, right? You can, when there is somewhere else pressure, when they kill B player, you can activate it as a lurk. So it's pretty much, uh, it's really good to to use this position. Um, so yeah. Another thing that I really like is if I have a right side spawn, I like to molly window. And I like to run in and just kill the door player early. It's so unexpected. Because let's say you, you you are like classic CT, you know, you're smoking, smoking, then Molly comes in, you're in for boom, there is already T side player because I have the best pawn, right? Uh, so it's pretty much easy duel for you because you're not expecting that. And I would recommend to do it definitely. Um, so in water, what I like to do is kind of like a don classic, right? When someone hold you con. And you're running with your knife just on the right side. And then you take out AK and just full swing con early again. 
it's so strong. Like those players are really confident, but if you are uh, preparing for the matches, like you are DMing a lot, I think you like can gain the confidence by doing those plays really easily. And you can get so many entry kills, so easy to get entry kills. So yeah. And on a like you can contact, right? I like this flash for example that can help you. This stone flash. That is anti-flash by blinding everyone else. It's pretty sick flash. Uh, so yeah, you can just contact, right? You can do some pressure here, like throw some util pressure. Uh, and then leave, for example, you know. So, depends on you, basically. I mean, it's not that impactful and not important. Um, <clears throat> it's this side map, so I'm gonna be a little bit more on this side. And I'm gonna tell you something with AVP, what you can do. Obviously, just speak mid all the time. Just speak on the right side. Um, pick on left side, right? You can try to experiment with some crazy stuff because it's face it. It's also really good to just peek B man with AVP. Like that's really insane as well. And what I like to do as one peek that I want to show you is that someone will smoke on. I'm not sure what what was the lineup like this. I'm not sure. I almost hit it. <laughs> uh, basically, con smoke, right? And what they want to do is they want to jump like this, want to go into corner and aim of the stones to bottom like this. And if you have uh, enough lucky, you will hit the guy here. You will hit the head right here. It's, as you can see, it's wall bangable and you can get headshot if someone is middle of the doors. And so it's pretty insane. Like if you hit someone, it's it's pretty good, good thing to spam. <laughs> Sadly, I didn't hit anyone yet, but uh, this lineup is working, and if you have enough luck, you can get killed. So, uh, so that's pretty much it for T side, and I think we can move on to T uh, CT side. So CT side, uh, I'm basically doing like all the positioning. So let's start from B. So on B main, guys, I see so much mistake all the time. B main players, what they will do is that they will just insta smoke B main all the time. This is such a newbie mistake, and I see it all the time. Like it's so bad because, like, as in rotation, I'm rotating early, and I see smoke here. What can I do now, bro? Um, it's so bad because this can go here, this can group up, uh, and it's kind of wasting your smoke because if there is pressure, it's it just use a smoke. So. You want to find some spot where you can jump spot, like this for example. And if you spot someone, you can in that time just smoke it. And most of the times you just anchor, right? So there is not much that you can do. Um, Sometimes maybe you can throw like deep smoke, you know. And you could just go jump like this and abuse it. But it's kind of obvious, not gonna lie. It's up to what you want to do. But I would recommend to just jump spot with your util. Throw it, delay them as much as possible, and then later on, if they execute, just kill them. Simple as that. In con, so I think connector is pretty hard position, uh, but pretty impactful in the same time. So you want to be patient a lot. Uh, that's important. You, uh, I, I would recommend to just early round you can swing if you want. Like if they don't have op, you can just take those duels. Why not? If you are confident. If they smoking, you can go like left side, swing and go back to smoke, go back. Uh, it's good to just like jiggle with util. If you see you throw the, you deploy the molly and then you're gonna fight for the for the space, you're gonna smoke deep as well sometime, right? And what is good position is right here on stairs to hold like this and just hold. That's really good because uh, people it's kind of hard because like it's kind of like uh, elevating the ground, right? So that's really sick position. And what I would recommend is mid round, just re-aggress. Try it, you know, with your teammate. Say your teammate mid round, you know, and just re-aggress. Or with your rotation, if your rotation knows how to play it. And you're gonna re-aggress con. You can maybe even wall key it, etc. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so let's move on, on on to mid. So mid, you wanna play it like a chess. Um, you wanna trade utility basically. So if they throw smoke here and molly here, you wanna wait and then throw the molly. What it, that means is that 
basically they use molly and smoke and you use only one molly and you gain the space again because this molly will fade uh, before than this molly that means you can get the space again right and that's so good because they again need to do something right with that and it's really good so you need to play like a chess find some really good positioning like i don't know this for example i'm not sure um this angle is pretty sick it seems like not but it's kind of off angle um obviously play from nico right there it's really good as well they can see you now and you can just peek don't see peek and stuff so you wanna peek like this and yeah it's all about trading util and mid round just don't be afraid and just swing mid swing mid for real and get a kill it's so important and if you don't see anyone you smoke and you can walk through for example you know you can walk through smoke and some early round play uh, that you can do for example is that you smoke smoke bridge and you peek taps and like this you peek stairs or you're going into the smoke and just running in with teammates flashing or you're gonna jump here and you're gonna peek stairs early it's possible as well so yeah there is a lot of possibilities <coughs> and on a i mean i played a recently on face it it went really wrong so i don't know if you want to uh, hear from me some tips but i mean you can just have a, some pixel spot, you know, throw some util to block, and <laughs> that's pretty much it, what I can say. Um, I mean, on A, it's pretty, pretty disgusting to play, for real. Like, I think Anubis A side is, like, the worst position ever, um, at least for me, and, like, you just want to jiggle, you know, with util. If they're close, you want to smoke. Delay them, that's all. Wait for your rotation to come and do some play stuff. You can maybe grenade all the time, stairs, that's good as well. And what I like also, one play, is you smoke A main, middle of the round, okay? And you're going crowd jump on this box, right here. You're gonna crowd jump on this box, and you can see here, you can get kills, and you can fall back. But that's pretty much it, what I can offer you here. Um, and on the rotation, uh, which I'm playing, it's kind of like what I like to do is that early I like my mid mate to be like set up, you know, and playing more reactive. So, for example, if they smoke window, I like to grenade it, I like to break it, I like to peek it. Uh, if teammates want to flash, I'll offer, I'll throw flash, right? Um, and a lot of things, like we can, for example, play some setup, like this, teammate playing anti flash. Uh, kind of like a playing reactive. After teammate is set up, I drop him also time smoke. Oh no, I can take it now. Uh, I throw him smoke. <coughs> and I'm coming B, basically. And on B, there is muscle time smoke. But it's okay, because I'm most of the time just going con and re-aggressing with my mate. If there is no smoke, that's kind of rarity. I will flash for my teammates on B main, and they will take space. You know, so basically kind of classic rotation stuff. Um, then again falling back to mid if mid is like um, like they took it be going to re-aggress again with flash and stuff uh, so basically m rotation like it's on every map is basically like mm, doing like it's like let's say you you have one complex place and there is like a pipes you know and there are kind of like uh, I don't know how to explain it in English, you know, but there is coming out of them like the water, you know, and you need to stop the water to coming out of the pipes. And it's kind of like, uh, you know, doing those, all the things like, uh, you are kind of like, uh, I don't know how to, s how to say, like, uh, eye of every basically map. So if there is some, somewhere problem, you're going to fix that, right? You're going to help it. So that's basically the point of rotation. Um, so yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching video, guys. Uh, just tell me tell me some map that you want to next on face it, and yeah, see you next video. See ya.